Oh, 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 guys, 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 praying mantis. Now, one thing that I love about these insects is look at that face. Looks just like an alien from another planet. Pretty cool exploring the countryside here in Japan, just scouting some location. Ooh, 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 look at that. Oh no, that's a dead praying mantis. Oh buddy. Ah, uh, I hate to see them when they're dead. That stinks, there's a garden right over here. Oh, 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 guys, guys, guys. Praying mantis. Nice. Yes, I just, I just saw a dead one. This one is, this one's alive. Cool. You wanna film a scene? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely worth filming a little segment with this guy. Awesome. Look at that. Cool. You wanna let's head right over here. Okay. There we go. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Wow. Right. Good timing. Rain is moving in. Yeah, I think we only have a few minutes to do this, but yeah. uh, definitely worth getting a little segment. You know your mantis facts, right? Oh yeah. Well, guys, we're just walking down the road right now, scouting locations, and right in the middle of the road is this beautiful green praying mantis. Now, we featured praying mantis on the channel a couple of times, but never a species here in Japan. Now, there are several different species that live in Japan, so we'll have to look this up to identify it properly, but we just can never pass up the opportunity to get one of these insects up close for the cameras. And this one is being incredibly calm. Most of the time, they're trying to pinch me with those front arms or trying to fly away. So we figured, why not get a quick little scene with this insect? Now, as you guys know, all insects break down into three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. What's really cool about praying mantis is look how long that thorax is just behind the head. And then of course you've got this large abdomen, which indicates that it is likely a female. Now the females do grow larger than the males, and as you may know, and if you don't know, now you're about to know, when the males and the females breed, afterwards the females bite the heads off of the males and eat the bodies. So it's sort of a cannibalistic sort of situation, uh, but still pretty cool. I mean, these insects have a very unique life process, and after they lay their eggs, they end up dying. So we are just at the beginning of egg laying season, so this praying mantis doesn't have too much time left but certainly still something really cool to get up close for the cameras. Now, one thing that I love about these insects is look at that face. It looks just like an alien from another planet. Those big buggy eyes. Now, they do have incredible eyesight, and as we know, praying mantis are ambush hunters. Because of their color, they can stay camouflaged in all the plants where they live, and then they wait for something to come close, latch out with those front arms, grab onto it, crush it with those sharp little spikes, and then, of course, eat their prey. What a cool creature. Now, let me turn it like this. You see on the back, covering the abdomen there, these are the wings and praying mantis are capable of flying, usually only for a short distance. They tend to want to move from spot to spot more so just by crawling amongst all of the foliage. But if some predatory threat comes into the environment, they of course can then take off and quickly escape. You may be asking yourself, well, what would eat a bug that's as cool as a praying mantis? Certainly birds, different reptiles, and even mammals will take this species. Wow, pretty sweet. And one thing that I love about the praying mantis is how inquisitive and intelligent this insect seems. Look at those big eyes. Always curious, always paying attention to its surroundings. And what you may not know is the praying mantis are both diurnal and nocturnal, meaning that you'll see them active during the day, but also at night. Now, the praying mantis is an opportunistic feeder, meaning it will pretty much take anything that it can grapple onto, even things bigger than itself. Things such as small frogs, even lizards and small snakes are capable of being eaten by this insect. Wow. I absolutely love praying mantis, and people oftentimes ask me what my favorite animal is, and as you guys know, it is the common snapping turtle. But when it comes to insects, the praying mantis has always been the one that I've been fascinated with ever since I was a little kid. But this is pretty cool, walking down the street, scouting locations, and we happen upon the one and only praying mantis. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, there's actually a garden right over here. She was heading that direction, so let's place her in there, and hopefully she'll find some cool food to eat. All right, back into this garden you go. Hey, 
Hey Coyote Pack, have you enjoyed watching coyotes climb up the insect sting pain index? Learn more about these thrilling and painful adventures in Coyote's new book, The King of Sting. It swarms into bookstores November 27th, but you can pre-order your copy today. Just look for the link in the description below. Hey Coyote Pack, if you thought this praying mantis was cool, make sure to go back and watch the episode where one of these predatory insects karate chopped my nose. Ouch! And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.